Nick and Jack were 18 months apart. They were a year behind each other in school, and I would say that they probably were best friends. They played hockey since they were about three years old. They played their last four years of hockey together. Nick and Jack had gone to a party um, the next morning. I walked into Jack's room and was talking to him. Didn't really get a response from him, so I shook him to wake him up, and that's when he didn't wake up. I checked his pulse and checked his respirations, and of course there was none. And I um, picked him up and I initiated CPR and then called for 911. Nick was in the basement with some of his friends. They had gone to awaken Nick to let him know, and Nick um, was lifeless as well. They were underage drinking, and they also had experimented with some opioids. They made a choice to take one of the pills and didn't wake up the next morning. I still can't believe that they would make choices that like they did that night. This can happen to anybody. No families are untouchable. The challenge posed by addiction in Indiana today is enormous and unprecedented. Opioid abuse is at an all-time high. Abuse of other substances is rising at an alarming rate. Alcoholism continues to shatter families and the size of the problem is rivaled only by its complexity. Now's the time to act for our state, for our communities, and for the people we love. That's why Indiana University's Grand Challenges program is partnering with Governor Eric Holcomb and his administration to tackle Indiana's addiction problem head on. Overcoming this crisis will take a complex, far-reaching plan. Attacking the drug epidemic is a key focus of my administration. It starts with equipping and training those on the front lines of this crisis. We're focusing on prevention, early intervention, better training, and certification programs so more health professionals can help fight this epidemic. We must understand and respond more effectively to the root causes of this problem. We're taking a strategic approach and improving the use of data to reduce the prevalence of substance use disorder and help those who have an opioid addiction recover and become or return to being productive, contributing members of their communities. To do this, we're pulling together the best resources this state has to offer. We are attacking this crisis on all fronts. We are taking action to reduce the availability of opioids and provide Hoosiers with more treatment and prevention programs. We need to understand not only the science behind addiction, but also the policy and economic issues that affect it. If we're going to break the cycle of addiction, we must address economic opportunity, jobs, and community development. It will take teamwork, including local communities across our state. Working together, we are expanding partnerships and introducing new resources that will help end this crisis. These areas of focus will reach families across our state and help those who need it most. Critical change, life-saving change, so that Hoosiers everywhere know that help and hope is on the way. Where there's hope, there's a chance to save lives.